Rock Guys would like to welcome Mike Roberts, Bleed the Freaks. Hey, man, what's up? How we doing, buddy? Good, good, good. Uh, tell me a little bit about the new release that just came out, All Is Lost. Um, All Is Lost, uh, we've been working on it for a couple of years now. Uh, me and Jamie, the ex, ex place Fire from Misery, we uh, found a drummer, and then we went online and found a singer, Bill, uh, which really fit us really, really good. Um, we put it together. We, we have, you know, we thought of the nice thrash rock, uh, you know, collaboration. We had some ideas and some songs. And we uh, got together, collaborated together, uh, got the title "All Is Lost" of the of the outlook of the world, but with a with a, a positive hope that we can change it. Cool, cool, cool. Now there's eight tracks on there. Yes, and, eight years. Go ahead. And uh, you know, uh, I guess "All Is Lost" is the highlight song, naturally, and um, it's a killer. A eh? ain't that the video too? Yes, that's the video, sir. Yes. Cool, cool. And then that's an amazing video. I, I mean, well done. Uh, I posted it on my Facebook. A lot of people enjoyed it and stuff like that. And um, Now, your other guitarist, Zach, was he originally part of the band? No, no, no. We found him. Uh, that's uh, crazy because we went close to the Craigslist. Uh, Jason Dangler played leads on the album, which was uh, the original guitar player with Misery with us. But he is married with children, couldn't do couldn't do the band thing, so he just came in to do the recording with us. And we posted it. We went to post Nats to the Bay Area, and somehow we posted it for Sacramento on accident. And Zach responded, came down in a week, knew all the whole album, showed up one practice, and just killed it. Cool, cool, cool. So since then, so since then we've had him, and it's just been a great blessing. And we got a new drummer named Scotty Sweet from the band Ratchet. And he's a really good drummer, so we're really we're at 100 percent right now. We're firing all cylinders, and it's really good, going good. Cool, cool. How how's the uh, thrash scene out in the Bay Area and where you are? Oh, uh, it's pretty it's pretty dead. It's pretty sparse. The clubs are pretty hard. To, you know, there's hardly any clubs to play at. Um, we're playing tonight a gig in Livermore. It's just a little you know kind of a dive bar, uh, but you know they get they got a big stage and it's it's pretty fun. But you know the, the days of the of the thrash, ten you know five good bands, friends bands getting together and playing. You know I play with all the bands, Testament, Exodus. They play with all the moment glory days are, are are gone. But you know it's coming back to where the thrash death metal is coming back with the kids really big right now. So we're a little different genre, but you know it's still there's there's few and far between places to play here. Right, right, right. But definitely, you know, I, I think it's coming back with, with like, uh, you, like you said, Testament, Exodus, Overkill. All these bands are starting to, like, revitalize and, and bring that uh, sort of genre back to the forefront. Do you feel the same way? Yeah, yeah, I feel the same way. It's, it's great to see Testament. I remember my friends that grew up with them guys. Uh, it's great to see them back out on the on the road and do it. You know, they, I hear they were number one in Germany, you know, just in the new release out there. They were doing pretty good in Europe. Uh, which is where we hope to go. That's where our, our our plan is to get over to Europe this year and do some festivals. Cool. Um, but yeah, the the revival of Ace, these the guys twenty band, you know twenty year old bands coming back and just crushing now is just exciting. Cool, cool. You know, it's exciting to all of us. So now, do you feel overseas would be a, a better place for you guys to play? Um, I think it's a good place for us to get out and start. I, I mean, you know, like I said, that, that I love America. I love playing here. The genres are, you know, the you know the play the venues are hard to come by these days. You know, club owners are having tough times, and it's hard to pack people in. I, I think uh, I think Europe people are a little more still excited of the of the music, a little more excited than the than the American people as far as coming out in droves of concerts. Cool, cool. Now, now, do you feel the the mosh pits and stuff like that is not a place for like the American people right now? Because like I go to shows and people just stand there and like look at you. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not, I mean, I, we just went to Death Angel, and uh, my buddy Zetro from Exodus is in his new band, Atriot. Uh, we went and saw Death Angel and them together, and there was a pick on, you know, it, it, if you're up to it, you're up to it. If you're not, stand aside. You know, they they still, the kids, there still are people that do it, you know, 30s, 40s, 20s even, you know, they get in there and they do it. If they really want to do it, and if you're not up to it, just stand aside and don't, and don't get in the way. I, you know, they're going to do what they're going to do, and it, it's exciting to see that, you know. At some points, we have a couple songs that you can get in there and get grooving to like that. But uh, you know, we try to be a little more groovy, you know, melodic, groovy, heavy at the same time. You know, we we see some picks here and there in a couple songs, but for the mass majority, we don't see it for our music. Right, right, right. Now too that, much. 
your whole CD, was, was that all self-released, self-produced, and stuff like that? Tell me a little bit about yeah, the background. Yeah, we, 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 uh, we wrote the songs in the studio that we have, our rehearsal studio. We, we wrote that stuff together, me and Jamie and the drummer. And uh, then we looked for the singer. We, we had titles for the singing for the songs pretty much, you know, because we worked on it for like a year and a half. And so then we got the singer in there. Uh, we went with Juan Ortega that just produced a new Machine Head record, Lo uh, Locust. Um, produce the album and it's just great it's great production uh, you know we went in there uh, knocked it out and let him take his time getting it done to where it was to where it sounded right and we just trusted him to do his thing cool cool now now when you play live shows do you, do you feel you, you see older crowds or, or younger crowd too uh, I it's, a, it's pretty mixed I mean you know the bars if you play a bar it's obviously 21 and over but, uh, you know, I see 20s, 30s, 40s, you know, it's mixed, 20s and 30s, a lot of people. There's, you know, the younger people are, are getting into it. They're, you know, a lot of people out here, you know, especially, and I'm sure you know that country music stuff is, is big in the Bay Area. You know, so it's tough. Yeah, it's tough to get a lot of the younger people are into country music. Wow. Which kills, which kills me, you know. So I tell them, hey, you know, come out, check it out. You're going to like it anyway. Just come out. It's live music. It's fun. We get them out there, and they, and they love it. They have fun, you know? So, you know, like I said, 20s, 30s, 40s, it's a mixture. Right. It's a mixture, pretty good mixture. So, Cool, cool. So what are your hopes for this release? Well, our hopes are just to get it out and get the, get the people to actually understand and get it and, and get the emotion and the, and the feeling that we put into this album, like you're such as yourself. Uh, you know, we really feel strongly that, you know, when it gets out there, people are going to get it and they're going to come, you know, enjoy the concert. And we want to get out and, and tour the world and, uh, and just bring our message of our, our, our life stories to people. Cool, cool. Where, where can people pick up the CD? Well, it's on CD Baby and it's on, uh, it should go to iTunes soon. We had it on iTunes. We took it off with a distributor we had first that we didn't have, we kind of had a problem with. So we took it off from there and just did it ourselves. Right, and we're looking to uh, get picked up by a record label here, hopefully soon, and uh, get it put out. And we got it. we got a bunch of songs written for the next record, ready to go, almost. Cool. And uh, we're just pushing forward, buddy. Cool, cool. When when your daughter comes to see you uh, play, you know, what is the look on her face? Well, she's off. The, that's funny you mention that because uh, when we went to record the album, she was in the car with me, and I said, "You're going to go in and do this spoken word thing on Blind Eye, the second song on the album." Right with dad and she says oh really and so we drove in the car and i had her uh you know rehearse it like 15 times we showed up to the studio and i said hey Juan, my daughter's here she's gonna sing this thing she went in there did two takes and she was out she did great she uh came to a concert and played in the city at the uh i forget the name of the club and uh she came it was an all ages thing and she really had a good time and she's like wow this is, this is what my dad does you know she didn't really get it until she came to the show and saw us and she really had a good time and i i think she's i think she's done with it but she she uh, kind of got it for the minute that she came, you know. She understands what what it's about now. And she, I catch her once in a while listening to CD, and she 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 likes it. It's hard for the kids to like different than what they like, but you know she knows what Dad does, and she really appreciates you know the, the hard work and the effort that I put into this. Cool, cool. Now, if you do go to Germany or go to Europe and you're gone for like two three months, um, what's that feeling going to be like without your kid? <laughs> yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Um, you know. Uh, Thank God we have Skype and uh, and iPhones and, and technology these days. I think I'll be talking with her quite often. You know, uh, I got her on the i the uh, the Mac stuff, so I think we'll keep in good contact. She's been busy with school and uh, you know new ventures in life and doing her music stuff. And um, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be sad. I, I miss my kid every day. You know, I only see her you know a couple times a month right, right now is my is my deal. So I, and I get her as much as I can. You know, but. Um, it, it's going to be different. I've been, you know, 14 years uh, in her life, and it's just a mister for a few months like that's going to be tough. But, you know, like I said, we'll we'll get by and we'll keep in touch. Cool, cool. Now, now, if you get the tour, like uh, a major tour or whatever, um, what are some of the things you'd prefer on your tour rider? <laughs> well, you know, I, I don't drink anymore, but the guys, you know, you know how it goes. I, I think the guys, you know, beer and, and booze, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm down for some good food and. Uh, you know, you can't ask for the certain certain things, but uh, you know, uh, the basics. We're not too we're not too crazy. You know, beer and booze and food and uh, water. That's a big deal. Uh, you know, we get a little crazy once in a while, but you know, there's not too much that you want to you know get crazy with these days. Right. True. Cool. Well, I definitely thank you for giving me a little chat today and. Uh 
Bleed the Freaks. Everybody go out and get their CD, All is Lost. And congratulations on the release. Yeah, thank you much. We appreciate your help, Al, and your support. We, we very much are all looking forward to uh, getting out your way someday soon. Cool, cool. You'd like to say anything to anybody out there? Uh, just get out and support your local bands and go to the clubs, and, and we all need your help, and we really appreciate the fans coming out. Thank you much. Great, Mike. Thanks very much. All right, pal. Bye-bye.